What's up, guys? Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to change out this evaporator on a Goodman. A24-08 from 1999. A little two-ton. Very simple in the closet here in the little apartment. We'll unsweat the two joints here and here. Slide it out, get rid of the horizontal pan because we do not need that in an upflow application. Uh, should be easy peasy. <laughs> Chamber spins around Five holes are empty The one's on down Pull and you live You can take the white line It's one out of six And all of it's mine Yeah, all of it's mine guys here's our new one I'm not sure if there's a piston in there or not I'm gonna have to check got the old one out took the horizontal pan out that drain is funky I'm gonna have to blow that drain out for sure before I get that new one in place all right guys I just verified that we have a piston in this new coil it came with a piston I cut my little ends off and I went ahead and took the hill more and swedged them out just a little bit so I don't have no trouble getting the copper in. Now we're going to blow the drain out, but I want to show you guys something. For those of you that have been following my channel, y'all know that I use the Gallo gun. Well, that's what I used to use. When I came to work for this company, they introduced me to these. It's the Drain Cat by Diversitec. This thing is awesome. Basically, it's kind of like a little mini nitrogen tank. Got a red hose on it, got the gun. And uh, it's refillable. You simply unscrew this part. It comes with a nitrogen uh, in here. It comes with this little kit. Let's see if I can get this open with one hand, guys. Here we go. And then you take these two pieces and hook them up to your nitrogen tank. You screw it on here, and you hook it up to your nitrogen tank. And you can see right there it says nitrogen gas, 35 seconds. So you, you barely crack your nitrogen and count to 35, and it's full. And you can actually hear when the tank gets full. So this thing is completely refillable. So if you got, or, or you know, reusable. So if you guys are interested in one, just Go to your supply house where Diversitec is and ask them for the drain cap. This thing is awesome. I love it. I'll prop the camera up like I did for the brazing and see if I can get y'all a shot. Let me blow the drain out. All right, guys. Basically, what I'm doing now is turning the tank on. Now, this is like a nitrogen regulator. I'm letting pressure in. The tank is almost empty. It's almost time for me to refill the tank, but I think I got enough to blow this drain out. There's the, the gun. See how that works? Oh yeah, she was plugged up. Alright 
guys. I pretty much just emptied out the tank on that drain. You saw how gunky it was a minute ago. Get the light on it. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. But it looks much better now. Yep, that looks a lot better. Alright guys, the new coil's in. I got the drain tied back in. I'm gonna get ready to braise it. I bleed for my money. I still have not put my 3 8 hoses on this truck and I've got to do it. But this is R22 and I don't do installs anymore, so this is more of a repair. So I'm really, I mean, I'll just let it pull for about 30 45 minutes while I go clean up and tidy and put the doors back in the air hand. I'm pretty confident in my uh, braze joints, plus I did a pressure test. I forgot to video that part. We held 200 pounds of nitrogen for well over 10 minutes, so I'm comfortable with letting the vacuum pull like this. I mean, this is how we used to all do it back in the day anyway, right? So, we'll let it cool while I put the doors on and clean up. Alright guys, we got the unit all back together. Put some tape right there because those are wide open. I don't want that to suck air. I need to go get me a piece and probably put it right there too. I'll have to do that in a minute. So we're going to go check on the status of the vacuum and start the system up. Alright guys, we just started it up. If you're interested, we have a CE25-1 I put about two pounds in the machine before I started it. I may have went a little overboard with that, but we'll see here in just a minute. It literally just started. Yeah. And, uh, I'm going to let it run about 10 minutes and then we'll get a wet bulb dry bulb and calculate our target superheat since we are leak free now and uh, I may have went a little overboard with the free on I may have put too much but we'll find out here shortly guys our target superheat was 15 uh, I put out did go overboard with the refrigerator I had zero degrees of superheat got plus or minus five for right at 19 Suction pressure is a little lower than I'd like to see it. Like Zach said, that's probably because we have some first class coming from. So, but it's, uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's cooling though. So he looks like it might hold right there at 20, 21. So here, watch it for a few minutes. But other than that, guys, we look good to go. Alright guys, we're all done with that little call replacement it went real smooth two hours no biggie suction pressure was just a little lower than i would have liked to seen it it was really cool in the house but i got the super heat where within five but i just the suction pressure bothered me a little bit because it was a little low but there's nothing i can do because two things the, ba the main thing is it's a two ton and I guarantee you it's too big for that little apartment. 
that that little apartment didn't need anything but but a ton and a half, and and a ton and a half probably would have still been just a little big, but a ton and a half would have definitely been the way to go on that little apartment. It did, it does not need two tons of air, and uh, I, I can guarantee you that that ductwork is not sized for two tons. Uh, it's got little bitty registers in it, and uh, probably a you know all. Six, five, six inch runs, and there's not many runs. So that's you know that's that's part of the problem too. But I do have it cooling. It's cooling very well. Superheat was in five within five degrees of where it was supposed to be. Uh, saturation temperature, you know, was uh, was good. That's all I can do for him. Uh, just a little rent house, you know, and. Uh, all he wanted was a call replacement because it was leaking. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and we'll see you all on the next one.